is just a quickie. Um, because we're going to be using an Arduino, which I've now fixed to the uh, our f sort of setup, um, and we're not using the relays. Relays require a 12, a 12 volt on the coil, which is the reason why we're using. Tw this is the supply we're using. Okay, and it had to provide 12 volts. Also, this circuit here, which is a pick. Uh, requires, I think it's 15, yeah, it says 15 volts there. But it works on 12. Um, so, as to supply all this lot, right? Now, I was taking off from it just simply because it's a convenient way of doing it. Um, but, uh, and you can see, <laughs> is that LED actually on? Oh, just on, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Anyway, um, so, but because we're going to use an Arduino board, and Arduinos take 5 volts on the power, uh, also they work from USB, uh, which is 5 volts. So um, this board here, uh, and all of the uh, pins are source and sync, um, a, uh, does that fit in there? Mm. Let's see, you can just push it, push it into there, you see, so it makes it real easy. Um, anyway, uh, 5 volts, and they all source and sync 5 volts, and 0, you know. Um, so all this obviously has to work on 5 volts, not the motor, because the motor is working on a separate supply, which is the reason why I created this split rail system, because then you can have a voltage for the, f Oops, sorry, a voltage for the coils, and a separate voltage for the uh, control, okay, and they share a, a, a common ground, which is the thing that the entire industry doesn't seem to be able to work out, but I have. Anyway, that's enough. Um, so what it is is that the supply provided to the uh, Hall effects, now they're 4.2 volts to 30 volts, so they obviously work on 5 volts and 12 volts, so that's fine, and 15. And uh, all the rest of the circuit we created, so we know how that's going to respond, and basically the calculations show that the worst it's going to be is you have a 1 microsecond delay in the switching time, like we're going to notice, you know. So. Anyway, so just to show you here, I don't know if you can see it, but basically that's now on 5 volts. You can see the arrowhead where it's pointing, and that, that's, that's the minimum voltage this power pack can do, which is 5 volts. It was on 12, and you can switch it at will. In fact, I will, uh, ironically. So if I switch, if I put it down here so that I can switch it, may. Right, and I can actually switch it by hand. And let me just stop this so you can hear it. So you can hear an RPM, and if I switch this now, um, you will have no perceptual delay, I don't think. There you go, that's 12 volts. That's 5 volts. There's no perceptual delay, uh, no perceptual change in the motor. And obviously the motor itself is still working off that. Um, the supply across the uh, inductors in the motor is entirely governed by that power pack. Right. The only issue is that I've actually got a resistor in there, so the loading obviously depends it depends on the uh, internal resistance of the motor as to what voltage it gets. But that's now working on 5 volts, which means that that's going to be well happy. Now the only issue we've got now, of course, is level control, because these guys sync current, and um, this whole thing is set up so that you're syncing current from the bases through the Hall effects and for the Arduino we need it to work the other way but that's okay because uh, our field control project um, is uh, is designed to cope with that so we just simply need to bring some of that circuitry in here and then it should work but that was just to show you that it works on 5 volts just as well as 12 volts and there's no actual difference in the operation of the motor you can't tell <laughs> which is exactly what we want so there we go yeah.